What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, literally does not work. Hope you guys have had a great, finally, freaking Friday. I got an hour and 45 minutes until my live stream at 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys join us. I got to get my computer set up because I'm on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. We're on the road here uh, working in Harrisburg, and we have some news. Now, it is Friday. This weekend is really about the last weekend where there's really not a whole lot of work to be done. Because come Monday, the NFL scouting combine begins. And that's where you're going to be looking and checking out all the players that you may want to draft. But also, too, beyond just, you know, basically watching workouts for the next generation of NFL players. Also, what you have that goes on is a lot of business ends up taking place. And trades sometimes start working out there. Because you have all of the teams there. you got the owners there. you got... Um, the GMs there and the scouts and everything else. Ah, shit. Missed it. Okay. It's all right. I know my way. I think I know my way. I'll figure out my way. I was following some others. Um, but you have everybody there working to, you know, checking out the, the next generation of players and stuff. So it's easy to go ahead and have a conversation with somebody. You don't have to pick up the phone. You're all sitting there in the stands and things. Well, we have word that... We are not going to have, Mike Zimmer is not going along with Mike McCarthy. They are not going to the scouting combine. They're going to be staying in Dallas to work on finalizing their coaching staff. We still don't have the passing game coordinator, which is the uh, assistant head coach. Uh, excuse me, the assistant uh, defensive coordinator just yet. I'm still hoping that they can convince Steve Wilkes to uh, be that guy. I would love to see that guy. That guy's got a lot of passion and energy and everything else and would help put foot in asses. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. They're also going to be still working now with the uh, scouting and the scouting and of course the coordinators and working on getting together the plan for this season. What kind of offense and defense, the changes we're gonna be making. And that's gonna be key because you have to understand what is Mike Zimmer's plan? Is his plan going to be the 3-4? Is it going to be the 4-3? Is it going to be a hybrid? What are we going to be doing with this team? Um, damn. That's why I hate following somebody else. I, all this damn traffic here coming around the corner. So I'm going to need to turn my GPS on and figure out how to get over there. Um, it is what it is. Okay. I think I can remember how to get there. But anyway... Anyway, they will not be there at the combine. Now, here's what I hope happens, okay? Here's what I hope happens. That cap boy, now that we've got a little extra cap space, okay? The NFL has come through with an unprecedented $30 million increase, okay? $30 million. Here's where, excuse me, $31 million. Here's where it's crazy, okay? Here's where it's crazy. I want you to think about something here for a second. Think about this for a second. If the salary cap is going up $31 million, that's 48% of the gross revenue. That means about 34%, excuse me, about 34 million is going to each of the owners. Each of the teams are getting an additional $34 million in profit. Yeah, each team, each 32 team, not talking about the money that's going to the salary cap. I'm talking about the money that is going into the pockets of the owners additional. Yeah, so about $260 million goes to each team. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. There is no reason at this moment when you start to see with all the new stuff that the NFL is doing right now, there is no reason to not get Dak Prescott's deal done, to get yourself some cap space and say, we know 
that in 2021, the salary cap was 182 million. In three years, it has grown. It has grown to 255. If you just look at the rate that it's growing at this moment, you've got to figure that it's going to grow as much next year. So you make that as part of your planning on what you're doing with your players. You're gonna go through, you're gonna go ahead, and you're gonna say, okay, we get it. We understand, the salary cap's gonna go up a lot. That means we can kick a lot of that money down the road and take a few more risk. You follow what I'm saying? You can take a few more risk on trying to get your cap situation in order, okay? I, I know, right, right, there's a lot of potholes. A lot of potholes here in Harrisburg. You can put some of that money. You can go ahead and look and say, we're going to make sure that we go all in and we can kick that money down the road because we know that we're going to have more money in the future. At least I hope that's the mentality that they have. I hope that's the mentality that they go into this uh, free agency window. And with Mike Zimmer and Mike McCarthy, they've got to sit here and look and say beyond. Because here's, here's, where, here's where I think that this is key. The reason I say that this is great is because free agency starts sooner than the draft. If this means we need to be looking and saying what players can help us in free agency because people... We're less than three weeks away. This means to me that they're going to do something in free agency sooner than later. And this is where Mike McCarthy, Mike Zimmer are looking and saying what players are out there that we can use. We'll deal with the draft. We got two months for the draft, but we got three weeks before we have free agency. And we got to get our shit together right now. Right now. At least that's the way I look at it. All right, good people. I am whooped. Mm. I am definitely whooped, man. That damn cast iron bathtub kicked my ass. But, um, phew. Phew. It kicked my ass. That's all I'm going to say. Have a good day, good people. And, um, I'll see you guys soon. Phew. Peace out. Now if I can figure out which way do I go, which way do I go, duh?